What's up, everybody? Welcome to another review. Today, we're going to talk about the Joy Toy Horus Heresy Warhammer 30K Content and Dreadnought uh, by the Sons of Horus. So, this is going to be a quick video. I just want to showcase some stuff real fast. But yeah, I everybody knows i'm like really deep in the joy toy right now so i'm having a, a damn good time so here we are with the contemptor dreadnought this thing is large it's big we'll, we'll show about that in the size comparison but as you can see my hand here's this guy i have to have him back up but i love this big dude like first of all the look of these contemptor dreadnoughts are really dope and i was like you know what i'm gonna try one and i got a chance to like get my hands on one i'm definitely gonna get one from all my favorite legions as long as they continue to do them so what's crazy is right you have these little fold outs for our arm articulation help you like get a better look at it so as you can see they can rotate out with some uh butterfly joint like style right they can also go forwards as you can see here but you can actually pull the joint out to get a better articulation on it which is really really nice we can also push it in so that it looks better we can rotate our arm up we can hit the uh <laughs> what, I, what, I, what would i even call that um he can symbolize like the way of hitting like human like joints but he doesn't have to it's a dude just trying to live his best life for the emperor. Then we have these little articulated claws. I love the way these little folds in. You have a, a, a double bolter blaster built into the hand. It does rotate. So you can give people like, you know, the bolter uppercut should you want to. You know, if you want to hit that close range. We have a nice ab crunch for our contemptor <laughs> middle style. We even can remove the rockets up top, which I didn't think was possible, but you can. You can remove the rockets up top if you don't want them up there. So that's pretty nice as well. Our leg articulation, we can scrunch in. We can go a little outward. You can't pull outward, but you can rotate just a little bit here. But you can rotate and have a nice, beautiful joint. We do have a, uh, ooh, how do you, oh, there it is. You have a little bit of wiggle here and a toe joint. But, you know, it's meant to move in a certain way, in a certain fashion. But with the help of the ball joint head getting up, you can actually get a nice little run pose for him, which I didn't think was possible at first, but it's like, bruh, if a big dude like this hitting the run pose, you should be scared if a dude like this is running at you. Like, this is probably one of the cooler poses you can get him in, but this is one of those cool big boy 180 scale toys where I'm like, yeah, I'm enjoying this, especially with a little bit of ab rocker backwards and forwards, especially going backwards. So you can just, like I said, that run pose is looking really nice. Again, man, I am having a good time with these. We have a auto cannon arm. So again, if this guy was running at me and he decided to hold out his auto cannon arm while running at me, I'd be terrified. But as you can see, I just, I wanted to showcase this because I've really been enjoying Warhammer stuff. And this is not a push for other people to try to buy it. I just want to try to showcase the things that I love, just like Common Rider. It's just crazy to me because I've, I love army building. I think this is why it hits a special spot for me. I, I truly enjoy army building. So the Warhammer stuff and army building has been hitting a very, very special sweet spot for me that I've been enjoying across this line, as well as just trying my hand and actually trying to hand paint little gimmicks and things on it. And it's just been very good for me, mentally and otherwise. And I like that. I really do. I think I've just figured out what it is. Mentally, this puts me in a very nice place. And, and I wanted to share with you guys. So I appreciate that. But anyway, back to this guy looking really, really cool. It's just one of those things where no accessories, you don't have nothing to worry about, like everything is on him, looking cool as shit, and I just wanted to share. So, with that being said though, we're going to like jump into the size comparison so you can see what he's like next to like a Son of Horus, a Terminator armor, a, a, a modern day Dreadnought. So let's, let's do that. I'll see you guys in a bit. Now we're on to the size comparison, and what's really cool is like, here is a, what would be a normal human, tiny itch you go there, like human scaled. This is a Contemptor Dreadnought with a human 118 scale. <laughs> this is a Space Marine, the Son of Forest fellow one, with a Contemptor Dreadnought. This, and we're gonna have to like rotate that arm back just a little bit so we can fit what would be a Terminator armor. This is a Praetor and a Terminator armor. None of these guys size-wise come close to the size of the Contemptor Dreadnought. And that's what's great about it. Like it shows you like that big simplicity that I've come to like enjoy. And like I said, I've literally figured out like I really love army building. It just, it's fun. I take pictures of them. They look really cool in these big battles. I love that kind of stuff. And when you can have people from the same like Legion, in this case, with the exception of Ichigo, it looks utterly fantastic together. You know, 
So I, I love doing stuff like this. Now, even if you take these guys away, right? We're gonna talk about like a Primark. Here's Rogel Dorn. Still very small in comparison to the Contemptor, right? You could probably take out the Contemptor, but as you can see here, and there's my wife singing, so she don't realize what's going on. She's in the groove. <laughs> but there you are with that. Here we are with another Joy Toy robot from a different line. But as you can see here, this is a smaller mech, not like one of the Purge bots. But stuff like this shows you like just how big this stuff is. And last but not least, I'm not even sure they will fit in the same frame without having some trouble because uh, I didn't think about adding it at first, but I'm gonna do it now. Is right, here is a modern day 40K Dreadnought, which is, the technology is lost at this time by the time we get the 40K. This would be a modern day Dreadnought with this guy. And like I said, here's Tiny Ichigo. So you know what I mean? I, that's how crazy we're getting with this lore and stuff. And I, like I said, man, I'm, I'm here for it. I've been having a spectacular time and I'm just trying to share my journey with you guys. And I'm glad you guys are like checking it out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the photos because I've been having a spectacular time with Warhammer stuff. So I'm trying to do more and more of it. Um, but it's hard because you don't want to keep reviewing the same thing. So I don't, I don't know if you guys checked out stuff, but I do more like a three in one stuff to kind of knock it out and make you guys like feel like you don't have to watch the same thing over and over. You can pick and choose. But in the meantime, Thank you so much for enjoying. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you know, as the Hammer Warhammer people say, like, for the Emperor. Unless you're in the Trade Legion, then it's be like Chaos Undivided or whoever it is banner you fly under. But, you know, I think right now I'm really rocking hard with Sons of Horus and Imperial Fist, which is ironic. But who knows? It may change. In the meantime, please, thank you for checking it out. Thank you for being good to yourself. Thank you for being good to others. And please, be good. Do good. Drink your water, guys. Later.